Hey, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, today we're going to be talking about a new Netflix series, a three-part movie series. Uh, it's just come out over the past couple of days, and uh, a lot of people seem to be going nuts over it. So I woke up this morning, uh, 4th of July morning, and I sat down and I watched it. Uh, the name of the movie is... Fear Street, 1994. Uh, so I went into this with an open mind and ready for some enjoyment. Uh, now what I have wrote down is really quick, to the point. Uh, basically just my thoughts and opinions on it. There might be a spoiler or two in here. Uh, so you might want to be mindful of that. Uh, nothing, nothing really uh, too bad, I don't think. But... Of course, I have my handy dandy trusty notes, and uh, that's what I'm going to be reading from, so hang in there. And also, I'm not good with names, so I'm going to butcher some names along the way. <laughs> so, here we go. The name, of course, again, is Fear Street 1994, and it came out in 2021. Uh, the basic plot synopsis is a group of kids cross paths with an ancient evil responsible for countless murders uh, in their small town for the last 300 years. Um, it stars, again, I'm going to butcher these names, Kiana Madria as Dina, Olivia Scott Welch as Samantha, Benjamin Flores Jr. as Josh, Julia Rewald, Rehald, whatever, as Kate, Fred, Heidinger, uh, <laughs> as Simon. And I believe I'm looking at the correct character, uh, the Simon character. Um, I'm hoping that I've got the correct one wrote down. Uh, a small, slight spoiler here. He is uh, pretty much in the entire movie and... Uh, so I hope I got the, the right kid. White white dude, kind of funny. <laughs> so it wasn't exactly clear on a IMDb whenever I was looking. So I hope I got the right guy. Uh, now this here is just going to be kind of my thoughts and opinions. And it's basically what I don't like, the bad, and what I thought was okay, the good. So let's go ahead and get the bad out of the way because it's a pretty big list, guys. Okay? So... My thoughts and opinions, the bad. Over-sexualization of children, which is nothing new. And uh, there is a little bit of that sprinkled throughout uh, the movie. Uh, overused story where kids know all the answers. Uh, Grown-ups are completely useless. Cops are useless. Of course, it's the old cliche, cops don't believe anything. Stop calling here. Stop coming in here. You know, same old cliche stuff we've seen a thousand times. Uh, the fat or thick nerd kid has a crush on a cute girl. They eventually are in a situation where they awkwardly kind of get to first base. We've seen that how many times? I mean, seriously. <laughs> Uh, dead guy, spirit demon guy, uh, gets stabbed in the hand and moans in pain. Really? <laughs> uh, again, overused girl power. The girls are the center of stories. They know everything. and It's just, again, overused stuff. Kids get chased, they get away, they get chased, they get away, they get chased, and get away, and so on and so forth. You know, we've seen it a million times. Uh, it probably should have ended 30 minutes earlier than it did. Uh, the killers are cut and paste. Uh, it's nothing original. They basically pull from Scream and Hatchet and whatever witch movie you want to throw out there. You know. Nothing amazing. Uh, some of the good things, and I probably had to stretch a little bit here on this one, uh, but some of the good stuff, uh, I thought the lighting and, and a lot of the scenes were good. A lot of the cinematography, 
uh, the sets, the locations were all okay. Everything was pretty well done. And I liked a lot of the, you know, the camera movements and the, and the following of this and the looking at that. And there were some fast switches here and some, some, you know, some pretty interesting choices as far as that. And, uh, kind of kept you somewhat interested as far as that goes. Um, kind of a slight spoiler here, but, uh, there's two kills. Uh, one was pretty cool. And the other one was just like really fast and unexpected, which I hated. I didn't like that kill. I wanted that person to live. Uh, the main characters were okay and somewhat likable. Uh, especially Simon. Again, if I have the correct guy that I hope I do. He's kind of the, the funny kind of outcast, kind of sort of. Uh, uh, there was... Uh, quite a bit of movement like I mentioned a minute ago for like from location to location and kind of gives you a kind of a sense of you know scope of the town and different different areas and stuff so that was okay uh again that's not really a contradiction to what I said earlier where it's you know the kids get chased and then they're okay and then they get chased you know that's kind of a different thing so anyway uh they gave us an okay storyline uh it's just not great it's, you know, it, it, nothing about it made me go, oh, wow, you know, that's amazing. That's something I've never heard or seen before. Um, but there are two more movies in this little trilogy that they're doing. And uh, hopefully they'll bring a little bit more, uh, something a little different. You know, I don't have a whole lot of great to say about it. And really, I have more kind of you know, stuff that's not great. And basically it's my overall thoughts. It's just not great. It's not rewatchable for me. It's nothing new. Uh, it's not Stranger Things or Goonies or anything uh, else where kids are like the center of attention, uh, like Monster Squad or something like that. There's there's other movies like that where, you know, kids are the center of the attention and, and even others, you know, where there's like demons and monsters and stuff. Um... Some of the moments and the dialogue uh, were okay. Uh, some okay music, but the actual score was fairly typical of a movie of that kind. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of it sounded like it was taken straight from like Scream or something. So, you know, um, and I and I also think that some of the music score. Were, the score, not so much the music, but more the score. I think it was used to get you hyped up for a situation where it wasn't really as much going on or as interesting as maybe they wanted it to be. So, uh, you know, it's like, ooh, let's get hyped up and put in this crazy, kind of crazy music. But the moment isn't doesn't really call for that much of, you know, intensity. So... Just a little bit overused and overdone. And uh, guys, that's basically what I have wrote down for this first chapter in this little trilogy. Um, I mean, is it horrible? No, it's not horrible. But I think some of the people that I've seen, you know, on YouTube talking about it and that I think are a little bit overhyped for it. And I don't know if it's because they're, you know, just jonesing for anything at all right now because, you know, the pandemic happened and we didn't get a whole lot and now there's something out and, you know, I don't know if they're just kind of overhyping it because, you know, they're desperate. I'm not real sure. But, you know, honestly, I'll never watch it again. It was really not uh, memorable at all. There's nothing I care to see. So that's just my opinion. If I had to give this a score... Which I try not to really score too much uh, because I'd rather just talk about stuff and just give my kind of thoughts and opinions and discuss and what have you. If I had to give this a score, I, I would honestly have to say two out of five. And that's just the way I feel about it. Because at the end of the day, it really didn't bring me anything new. It was just a lot of cut and paste type stuff and... Uh, stereotype kind of stuff for everybody all the characters kind of stereotype and you know we've seen it all before and there was nothing major so 
anyway, that's my kind of overview, my thoughts and opinions, just kind of how I feel about the movie, the first in the trilogy, Fear Street, 1994. I hope you found this a little bit insightful, and uh, I'm sure that my uh, discussion here is a little bit different than what you're going to find on the internet, because it seems like I might be kind of alone in this. I don't know. But uh, anyway, stay tuned for the next chapter of this trilogy. I'll try and get another one out as soon as it comes out. So check out the playlist, guys. It's got all my videos and different categories and stuff in there. I do all kind of stuff on this channel. I'm an interesting guy that likes interesting things, so I do a multitude of things. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And while you're at it, please check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. Right now, I'm in the middle of playing Halo 3. You can go back in the playlist and watch me play and beat and enjoy some other games and stuff. Take part, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Guys, and I appreciate it. And don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And also, while you're at it, have a good 4th of July. Be safe. Don't lose any fingers, okay? We'll see y'all later. Go watch this movie if you want. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!